Hey everybody, my name is Dajman and welcome to the first ever Rockstar Gamers Sunday Drive Club. Uh, this is basically a series that we're going to be looking at some of the community challenges, having a go at them and seeing how we compare with the rest of the world. So I'm just going to jump right in. Uh, so solo ones, uh, you'll be able to see I have a, a club challenge that I was practicing on before. So let's just see, community challenges. Uh, so I'm going to make it perfectly obvious from the start that I suck at drifting. So I'm probably not going to bother doing the drifting challenges. Um, but, so sprint, what should we do? I mean, only 204 people have done that one. So Actually, it's only got 47 minutes left to run, so let's just jump in. 43 seconds, how badly can it go? Um, so the time to beat 43.311, we're probably not going to do that. Be lucky if we can beat 45. Uh, Bentley Continental, I don't think I've actually driven this one before. Definitely own a copy, so uh, let's just go for it. Let's do it! So while this loads, I'm going to have a quick drink. I hope it doesn't take too long. I don't want the, uh, I don't want the race to be shorter than the, the loading time. Alright, we're good to go. So in the Alps, it looks like it's a bit wet. So stop at the corner. It's never useful. Okay, shop, shop, shop. It's a bad one here. Now we're losing it. So I always play in cockpit view, and sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Um, depends on the car, but this time it looks like it's alright. 45 seconds. Uh, it wasn't great, so we're 2 seconds behind. Uh, yeah, 2.2 seconds back. No clean sectors. Um, don't know where that actually puts us in the scheme of things. Do it again. Oh, did I click the wrong button? Crap. It's too, try to be too quick. Uh, so I'm 154th in the world. That's that's not good. That's top 75%. So let's try again. Unfortunately, it means I will have to wait for it to load again. So I, uh, I've only once in all the time I've played Drive Club actually managed to get a top 10 spot. Um, so I don't expect that's going to happen again. But you know, whatever. We'll we'll try and see. So let's have another go. I don't know why it starts in 60 already. Clearly need at least go for that ah shit. Okay. Now we're even further back the last time already. Oh no, I screwed that corner up entirely. One that should have taken a foot to last time. Oh, maybe not. Maybe a little bit slower than that. Can't see I'm even slower than the last time. God damn it. Uh, that was absolutely crap. It's getting worse. What is going on? No. Uh restart Challenges. The people at the top of the leaderboards are using wheels. Because I don't know how they can be more accurate. I think they're going to be even slower again. I'm not going to make up that turn. Nah. Alright. I was a little bit faster that time than the, uh, than the first one, but it's not an easy track and it's not an easy car either. So let's just. Just call that one a day. 
So basically this is what Sunday Drive Club is going to be all about. Um, where did I end up in that one? Let's just check while we're here. Oh yeah, 154th is, is useless. So we'll go back in to these ones. Um, see if we can get one that's actually not... There's nothing that's actually a, a, a circuit. There's no round tracks. I'd like to see an actual race circuit rather than just these point to point. Drift challenge? No, we won't do drift challenges. Oh, this is getting even even worse. There's not very many of these at all. Oh, sorry, let's just go to the next one. So the... Well, apparently I can't do that because I'm not high enough level, so screw that. Uh, I don't think I'm high enough level for that one either, no. This might be the shortest video in the history of the world. Time trial? It's a Volkswagen Beetle. Like, alright. So that can't be... It's not going to be a massive uh, struggle against the power with a Beetle. So we've got what? 1 minute 17. And it's an actual racetrack. So this is the one we want. This is what I was looking for from the start. I don't know the track. We'll spend the uh, the first lap will be just learning the layout. And then we'll go after the actual the times. Now we just speed face off. sector but not amazing. Oh yeah, I was saying before I always use um, cockpit view, but I also uh, also always use manual gears. So I'm actually double handicapping myself. But then manual gears and a race chart and race car man can't race an automatic. Also, I'm not drifting. Maybe I'll do a drift challenge in a minute and you'll see exactly how crap I am at it. So what was the, the best time is 117. Holy crap, we're almost 10 seconds back. How do we manage that? Oh, this corner, not like that would be a good start. Speed, which is something. I'll change my video for that one. Change. Ah, that was crap. On the plus side, I think we're actually going faster than we were last time. second faster this time than we were last lap. Amazing. Oh, that sector is way faster than I thought it was. I'm going to probably do that. Make another second off there. So I'm a good bit quicker than I was the first time. It's a good start. Alright, there we go. Almost two seconds quicker. So come out of this corner a bit smoother. Here. And this one we can do at full speed. This one takes a little bit more braking than I gave it there. Ah, oh, it screwed us up for the entire lap. Shit. Okay. So we were quicker, but we won't be now. So 
three. I think this track, I don't think I've done it before, but I think this one is, uh, yeah, there we go. The secret is just to work out which corners you can take flat out. Much, much wider. Yeah, so I can take that one much wider. Give me a much better angle into the, uh, in the actual corner. So I'll do one more lap after this one. One more lap and we'll see if we can break 120. I think 120 is it's definitely within my reach. That was much more like that. I love that. Yeah, screw you, whoever it was that was up against there. Wait, 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 take it wait, take it wait. Then come in. There we go. That's the way to do it. That is what I am talking about. Okay, that'll do nicely. Okay, so as long as I don't fuck up the rest of this, we should be good. That is not a good idea. Lost a little bit of time now. Um, it's okay. I can deal with that. I can, I can deal with that. It's all right. We're not going to beat 120, but we'll be getting pretty close. I think 121.5 maybe. We're doing well. I think we're okay. 121. Oh, 122. Yeah, that's it. Definitely not going to beat that. That was good, I was enjoying that. Where does that put us? Oh, I leveled up my Volkswagen. I unlocked an Aston Martin and a Pagani. Okay. So we have to do it again. Okay. So, where are we? 203rd out of. out of how many? How many? I don't know. Whatever. I knocked like, you know, four seconds off of my original. Now we maybe can see how many. 436. Uh, barely in the top 50%, but yeah, whatever. So I can't do that because of the car. I literally just unlocked that car, so the hell with it, let's do it. Level fit. Oh, okay, no. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't the Zonda, was it? It was the Hyra. Um, what's this? Lambo Aventador, I haven't purchased. Uh, I'm not high enough level for any of these. I've got to, I need to uh, level up a bit, I guess. Oh, come on. Oh, hang on. So it's Porsche. 
It's a Porsche. Um, oh, it's a drift challenge. Okay, yeah, let's do the drift challenge. This will be embarrassing. So, so I need to beat 33,000 points. Right. I will be lucky to get 2,000 points. In fact, I'm even going to change it to... That, yeah, see, that is not how you drift. It's, it's... That is definitely not how professionals do it. Ah, that is definitely not how the professionals do it. So yeah, 33,000 points. Damn Porsche, you don't steal. Oh, what the hell? I'm oh, only 23,000 points, Lennox. Yeah, okay. That was great. Woo! What a pro. This is why I don't do drift challenges. Another one where I think you definitely benefit from having the, uh, have that control, having that wheel, rather than uh, that shit. But you know what? I don't care. Let's check him out again. What can we do that is not a drift challenge that we can actually take part in? Uh, Audi R8, that will do. So we've got racing, time to beat. I love this car. The time to beat is 40 seconds. Okay. So let's go. This is the one that I was doing in the, uh, the other car that I went saw. Which is most of them, let's be honest here. In the Bugatti, was it? No, it wasn't Bugatti. Bentley. This car being four wheel drive and mid engine should be enough. I wasn't even watching the time, I don't know how quick I was going there, it was not great, I was about three seconds behind, three seconds, yeah. Alright, three seconds uh, can, I can take, All right? but you know what, we'll do it again. So. Just take a look at that again. I'm slower than myself this time. So where's where's the oh. Where's he come from? Okay, that's a weird line, but whatever. I'll try that. I don't even care! I don't even care, man! Well it's definitely a copy of line that I was using. Oh, that was not. But yeah, that's how you learn.
Okay, so I think I beat my last time, but it wasn't fantastic. Eh. 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 Do it again. Oh! Okay, we'll do it again. I don't feel bad for restarting. My girl. I don't think that was any faster, was it? 42, 3, 31. I think it was actually slower than my last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Fine. That's it. And with that, I'm calling it a day. Um, so this is actually recorded on a Friday night, but it will go up on a Sunday. Um, and yeah, when we next log in, we'll have a look and see how those compare against the rest of the world. Bye for now.